Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Memory Work Ideas for CC Cycle 2 and Week 2. For math this week, we are skip counting the threes and the fours. And so for the threes, we skip count it to the tune of Jingle Bells. So we will be using Jingle Bells to skip count the threes. For the fours, we're going to sing it to the tune of This Old Man. And so what we're going to do is use an imaginary cane and stand on one foot and try to balance using that imaginary cane as we skip count the fours to the tune of This Old Man. So that is math. For English, we are learning a pronoun, and so what we're going to do is I will go over the definition on the board, read that out to the students to begin with, and then what we'll do is stand in a circle, and we'll have a P. I just wrote these on sticky notes. You could also use construction paper. I think last year, last time we did it, I used a bigger piece of paper that you could put it on. But you could use sticky notes, whatever works for you, whatever you have on hand. So I used a P for pronoun and then I have an N for noun and what we'll do is the person who has the P we will take turns being the pronoun and as we're standing in the circle the pronoun will go in front of the person with the noun the N and kind of block them out of the circle and we will say replaces a noun as that happens in order to avoid we'll all say that together and then we'll go around the group saying repetition 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 and so we will take turns being the p and the n go around the circle and that'll get us through it uh, several times to remember that definition of a pronoun okay for history, we have Tell Me About William the Conqueror. So for this, we're going to actually do some kind of acting out slash motions. Uh, I have drawn on a piece of paper a church. Here I have one side for Roman Catholic, and over here I have a side for Eastern Orthodox. And what we're going to do is sing the song, and as we sing it, we'll rip a little bit more of the paper. And so by the time we've gone through the app that I play in class, goes through it twice in a row. And so we will play the recording three times to get through it. And every time we say in 1054, the church split, we will rip our paper a little bit. And so by the time we're through it several times, we'll be down at the end and the church will be fully split. So every time we say church split, we'll rip the paper with the church on it. And then when we say William the Conqueror, we're going to take out an imaginary sword. Or you could go, if you have a dress up in, that happens to have a sword in it, you could just bring a sword to class or just keep it simple and do the imaginary sword. So take out your sword for William the Conqueror. Then we have defeated King Harold. We'll put on a crown for King Harold. And then when it says feudalism, we're going to do the sign that we use throughout the timeline for feudalism, which is just to show your fingers going, layering up to show what feudalism is, that just the different classes in a society. So we'll do that whenever we use the term feudalism for timeline and for history. That'll just keep it consistent so we all know what we're talking about. All right, for Latin, we are going to do our same present passing that we did last week. So we'll take out our present and then we'll pass it around the circle as we see, say our uh, first conjugation present tense endings. So just passing the present around the circle. For timeline, we will do the timeline motions that CC provides. I will put a link at the bottom of my video every week that just has a link straight to all those hand motions and also a link to a document that you can print out that shows all the hand motions on paper as well. And I think that will be useful to have as well. So that's what we're going to do for timeline. We always present it with the timeline cards in class first so that they can see pictures and visualize what's going on at that time in history. Then I will introduce every timeline piece, all seven facts with the hand motions and then we'll go through it with the music together uh, several times and that's how we do timeline. For geography we have European waters so we are going to be taking out our maps and then what we'll do is we'll have little sea creatures, little plastic sea creatures, sea critters that we'll use to point out each of the different areas. Um, you can use whatever sea critters you have. I happen to have these little fishies, I have little octopus. I've seen different options for 
um, little figurines that you can use. Sometimes the dollar store has them, uh, just whatever you have around. And then I thought it'd be fun to sing it to the tune of Pop Goes the Weasel. It kind of matches the breakdown of a lot of these words, and it sounds like this. Mediterranean Sea, North Sea, Baltic Sea, Adriatic Sea, English Channel. And that is how we will cover geography. Just doing it to the tune of Pop Goes the Weasel, using our little sea critters to point out all those areas. And last but not least, we have science. And for science, we are going to be doing what are some land biomes. And for that, we have motions as well. I sing this to the tune of ABCs. We do lots of tunes. My kids love tunes. You can use these motions with the tune or without the tune, whatever works best for your family or your class. Kind of have to fill out if they like the tunes and what, what works for everybody. So the tune and the motions look like this. What are some land biomes? Some land biomes are grassland, desert, scrubland, tundra, deciduous forest, coniferous forest, tropical rainforest. So that's the tune and the motions that we'll use. Before we go into that though, I will use either the uh, CC science cards to show pictures of all of these different land biomes. You could also just use a science book that you have that shows that or just a printout that has pictures of these different land biomes just to give them an idea of what we're talking about. But that's how we will do the memory work for it. And for review today, I got a little um, parachute that has a ball, so has some balls and different things that you can wave around on it. This week, I thought it'd be fun to use the parachute and you can put in, I have a little foam lightweight ball that has a foam dice, so it has all the numbers on it. And then we'll use that to use the dice to tell us which subject we're gonna review as it falls in the middle pocket of the parachute. So we're just gonna do parachute and memory work dice review. So let the dice tell us what subject we're covering. And that is everything for cycle two this week. Hope it's helpful and I look forward to seeing you for next week, week three. Bye.